Petra Helkema, um, EOPA, and one of the uh, questions that uh, uh, most concerns us is how to strike uh, a fair balance uh, between supervision and the development of the insurance market. Yeah, I think uh, it's it's a, it's a good question. It's it's raised a lot. Uh, let's first say that uh, there would not be supervision if there was no industry. So industry well, is yes. important to us. Uh, industry in Europe is doing well. We have a solvent market, um, and uh, we went f very very well through the crises and and a period of low yield. Mm -hmm. And I would say that is also because of regulation. I think we have a robust framework with solvency too. So where do we move from here? Uh, I think, first of all, um, the capital requirements, uh, they will already be lower after Solvency 2, which means less capital available for trouble. I, I would not push on that any further as it is. Um, but when it comes to all the other regulation, uh, I think what is important is that we really look into how much do we need uh, and, and, and why do we need it? And can we do it in a shorter way or in a clearer way, in a proportionate way? Uh, so implementation um, and being crisp, uh, but then also in force will be essential to uh, have clarity on what is expected, um, but also not to do more than is necessary. So what uh, st stage we are at right now? I do we need more or? Yeah, no, I, I would say we are at a stage where in the last four years, um, even though um, Solvency 2 didn't change, we had a lot of, of course, people, including on the supervisory, involved in the discussion about the changes to Solvency 2, and that is going to continue for in the next two years. We had the introduction of the IIRD, so recovery measure, which is going to keep us busy in the next few years. We had a lot of horizontal legislation coming in for new risks on digital, on data. We had a lot of uh, we had a lot of sustainability yeah. coming in. So I think we've produced a lot, and I would also say enough for now. Uh, and uh, we need to focus on implementing it in a pragmatic way, in, a, in an efficient, organized way. And with that, particularly for sustainability, I mean the order in which we do things. I think we need to deal with green risk, but we need to make sure that the order in which we implement it is as efficient as possible. Um, so I'm hopeful when I listen to the Commission staff that they see that the next Commission should be focusing on, on implementation, implementation and then on enforcement um, as supervisors uh, to actually stick to the rule. Hopefully with a dialogue of, uh, with the market. Always in a dialogue with the market. So that is, I think, and I hope the market sees that, but it has from the start been for me essential. And I was trained by a, an authority for, for whom also the dialogue is important. We cannot build things in an ivory tower. What does that mean? It means we need to consult. Uh, it means we cannot consult shorter than the three months. And for me, that's a very strict rule in IOPA. I have noticed when I entered that particularly on some of the, the green and uh, the sustainability directives, uh, we got very little time also as IOPA to, uh, to uh, consult. Um, and, and in the end, that just doesn't benefit the process. You need the dialogue with stakeholders and stakeholders need to have the time to first talk among themselves. So I think going forward, if, if there is new regulation, <laughs> um, then we do need to do that properly. And so one thing you can expect from IOPA is that now that we are developing the guidelines and, and RTS is under Solvency 2 and the IRD, that my entire team knows that they, they need to con at least allow in the planning for three months of consultation. Moreover, very much part of Solvency 2 is that where we need to adjust the existing part of Solvency 2, part of that process is also to identify if we can lose some things of the existing Solvency 2 in the guidelines just to see if we can reduce the amount of paper that involves Solvency 2. Not sure if we get there. My team we tells hope. me it's as difficult as getting things in because, again, I need to agree with all my members, but it is a formal and key part of the Solvency 2 review implementation to also assess what is there, but what could actually, what could we do without? So uh, 
that's uh, that's at least a promise for an effort and and let's hope for an outcome yes let's go thank you very much thank you